Six Underground. Six Underground is the newest action comedy by Michael Bay starring Ryan Reynolds about a group of Ghost. They call themselves ghosts, they fake their deaths, and they go on secret missions, and they start coups, and they overtake governments for the greater good. This is a $150 million budget, and when you watch it, yeah, this movie has a lot of shit going on in it, and that's what Michael Bay is known for. This guy is huge when it comes to explosions, and you can expect that from any of his films, and you sure as hell will get that in this one. An 18-wheeler spins out of control, and it's all like... Brush in this huge tanker full of diamonds. Crawl, crawl. Those aren't ideas. Those are special effects. I don't understand the difference. So the positives that I can say for this movie is the action and the direction by Michael Bay. It's the editing is a little choppy here and there, it, especially towards the beginning. But there's a lot. It, has, it starts with like a 15 minute. I swear to God, like dr drive by sequence, a car chase followed by like crash here, crash there. The, the gore. There's some gore in here. There's some bloody ass kills. It's awesome. Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds in this movie. He's got that same Deadpool humor in here. <laughs> I wasn't sure it would work. I mean, I wasn't sure, sure. I had a suspicion, but I, uh, God, this is all so fucking dangerous. You get other characters like that one actor from Magnificent Seven. I forget his name, but he's funny. And you even get that one chick from Inglorious Bastards, the French woman who is constantly being stalked by that creepy guy. And you get James Franco's brother, Dave Franco. He's in here for a little bit. This movie has a very interesting like color palette to it. The way that the film looks, it just they turn the saturation up. All the colors start to pop. That green sports car at the beginning is very beautiful. And unfortunately, they wreck it. But the greatest thing about this movie is honestly just the action. The comedy isn't really that, there's not that much in it. It's more funny in the second half, I felt. The first half is just constant action that you forget it is a comedy. I feel like the comedy is in the action, the way that it's so crazy and just explosive and the way people like fly off their motorcycles. So yeah, the action is great, but the comedy is, it's subjective. What you find funny, I might not find funny. I wasn't laughing that much in the first half, but in the second half, once I get to, on that boat, it gets a lot more hilarious for me personally and what they do on that boat and the device that Ryan Reynolds has and what they do, the way they're able to do that, the stunts in this movie, the stunt work is just, I don't know how they did it. Green screen, CGI, it's awesome. This is the type of movie that you can just sit down and watch at any time and it's just a blast. It's just, it's not taking itself serious. The story is very generic. It's basic. It's just uh, underground, like spies almost, just a group of badasses that think they can get away with anything, they don't fear death, they just think they're indestructible. But then they start, some of them start to get kind of scared. There's not really any major character development in this movie. So my only negatives with the movie is just that the story is basic. It's nothing new, it's nothing like original. It's just a group of mercenaries or, you know, ghosts have to start a coup and take out this bad guy dictator who's gassing his country and replace him with this other guy who was in 13 Hours, with, which is another movie directed by Michael Bay. He's in here. But yeah, so the story is just like, well, eh, whatever. The story is not told chronologically. It jumps all over the place. So if you're not paying attention, you might get lost. Like, wait, when's this? But overall, I just dug the hell out of this movie. It has a great, fun pace. It's not taking itself serious. There's lots of Ryan Reynolds type humor, like Deadpool. And it's got some great action and gore. Not really gore gore, but there's some neat kills in this movie trust me and just the action alone that's why you're here to see this so if you're looking for a good action movie to check out this winter then this is the one to watch so those are just my quick thoughts on this movie let me know what you thought about it in the comments below if you like what you've seen here you can hit this like button and become a subscriber today just by clicking on my cartoon face in about five seconds and until next time i'll feed your scene